Welcome back to the exchange. You can see in your session highs there on the Dow. Shares of packaging parts maker Aptar Group up more than 2% after top and bottom line beats. One of the biggest first quarter tailwinds was increased demand from obesity drug makers. And management expects continued strong pharma performance throughout the year. Aptar also makes spray and pump bottles, and the exchange has been tracking that since the pandemic. We first spoke with them for our out-of-stock segment when hand sanitizer was a red-hot commodity. Back for more, in an exclusive interview is Aptar CEO Stefan Tanda. Stefan, welcome. So g- give me your sense now of the market, particularly on just the consumer side first. I mean, we used to have this supply chain bottleneck. That's no longer happening. Beauty's been a pretty strong segment overall. How much does, does pump and dispensing innovation factor into that? Hi, John. Uh, thanks for having me back. Yeah, things are kind of normalizing now. Uh, all this inventory adjustment and destocking, I think, is behind us. <clears throat> we see normal growth. We, of course, had a boost of new launches after uh, travel remained with our fragrance. That's now more normalizing, and uh, demand is uh, picking up at a more normal pace. And all these supply chain issues, I think, are in a rearview mirror. Give me a quick primer on on the technology here that's important, because I I didn't generally think of these pumps as being high tech. But then again, I think to the time when I was a kid and we were worried about the ozone layer and chlorofluorocarbons, that was a a dispensing technology that really had to kind of phase out because it was bad for the environment. So there's definitely tech in there. What are we moving toward? Where's your R&D effort going that's going to show you benefit down the line? Yes. So these are really high-tech products, often dozens of sub-assemblies put together at high speeds, uh, 600, 1,000 parts per minute, and uh, indeed more and more sustainable in monomaterial fashion so they can be thrown away in the recycling bin and easily recycled. So our customers are really driven by the consumer who demand innovation. And as you know, we were the ones who enabled upside down ketchup, later upside down uh, sour cream, and most recently dish soap. And the same in the pharma space, uh, making notes to brain drug delivery possible for things like uh, pain uh, redu- reduction or antidepressants, or unfortunately also Narcan. Okay. So in those areas, are you sort of competing against? people uh, going to taking pills, taking these drugs orally. Um, Are there innovations that you can make to make either this less painful, less cumbersome, that's going to lead to share gains over time? Absolutely. Just think about it. Do you want to inject yourself, like with an EpiPen, or or do you want to just uh, have a nasal spray take care of that? So it's a much more consumer-friendly way of administering drugs. And many of our our customers, pharma companies, find this is a very good way to give drugs a new life cycle. Things that used to be injected can be administered to the nose and become more effective and much quicker to the brain where they need to do their work. Does the macro economy affect demand for you, or is it just mostly based on who needs whatever product. I wonder how stable demand is, even uh, despite these macro cycles, something investors might want to think about. Yeah, when you think about a normal recession, if there's such a thing, really doesn't scare us. Uh, People have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They put on their game face. They take their drugs in good times and bad times. Clearly, COVID wasn't a normal recession, and COVID hurt us. Uh, But with COVID behind us, we are back to executing very well and now have seven quarters of EPS beats behind us. What about uh, international expansion? What are the best market possibilities for you right now? Yeah, we're actually a very global company, been around for 80 years, public is 30. 70% of our business is outside of the U.S., big base in Europe, uh, growing base in Asia. In fact, uh, the board uh, was just in China for a week. So we're a global company, and geographic growth is an important driver for us, especially in pharma, but also in beauty and uh, the food markets. Right. From from injectable drugs to upside down sour cream. I love (laughs) the breadth there. Stefan Tanda, thank you.